For myself, finding a compliant vein was the easiest part. But with a prick of a needle, the process of saving a life begins. Between the ages of 17 and 24, New Brunswick has the lowest donor rate in Canada at 7.5%, urging New Brunswick Blood Services to recruit more younger donors. The focus right now is to uh, be going to high schools and universities and community colleges because the young donors are the ones that are going to carry on the, uh, the blood program. Currently, uh, a vast majority of our donors are in the baby boom age and they've been sustaining the system very well, but now they're getting to the point where pretty soon they're going to become the recipients. This university student, Marla Langland, decided to donate blood due to family members who needed it in the past. I came out because Michael convinced me to come out. We both have um, people in our family that have needed blood in the past, and I figure I might as well get started now so I can help out as much as I can. Um, here in New Brunswick now, I know we work very closely with uh, pretty well all of our high schools throughout the province. So we've planted the seed in high school, and then when you come to university or community college, there we are again. And it's like, oh yeah, I donate it, you know, I donate in high school. Okay, I'm going to try it again. In Canada, the need for blood grows 2% each year. That translates into about 17,000 extra units of blood that Canada Blood Services needs to attain. So do your part and roll up your sleeve for a good cause. I'm Nathan Swain, reporting for the New Brunswick Beacon.